Hi, today I'll be showing you how to get a clean HDMI output using a Nikon D7000 camera using a patch firmware. Let's get started. Okay, so you have a Nikon D7000. Why would you want to get a clean HDMI output? Well, as you can see here, this video is actually recorded with Nikon D7000 with a patch firmware that gives you a clean HDMI output. As you can see, I have a green screen and the green screen requires clear, uh, no uh, title and all that on the, on the screen. And when we, what we meant by clean HDMI output is that you don't have those uh, uh, information on the screen. And so you have very clean uh, output and that's what we want to do. Let me show you right now how to do that. But before I do that, here's my setup. Uh, there we go. There's my, uh, let me just bring down myself here. So here we go. You can see my uh, Nikon D7000 right there on the left. And it's filming me right now. Um, yeah, and this is a very cheap, economical way to do a uh, studio camera. The Nikon D7000 I mentioned before is an amazing uh, photography camera. Now it is uh, also a very good studio video camera as long as you have the right equipment. Let me show you the equipment that I set up that make this thing work really well. As you can see there's a Nikon D7000 okay and then it's hooked up to the A10 Mini. This is Blackmagic design. Uh, one of the input is the uh, Nikon D7000. And from there, uh, the output goes to the um, Shogun, the Atomo Shogun 4K external monitor recorder. Now, you don't have to get a uh, 4K uh, external recorder. You can get a 1080p because I'm actually recording in 1080p anyway. So that's the setup. And that will give you an amazing studio video camera. I know um, it looks like it's quite expensive, but the Nikon D7000 in itself, uh, you can get it for roughly around $300 uh, used, maybe even cheaper. I got mine even cheaper than that. But uh, I, you know, I know it's an amazing photography camera, but you know, I was searching around on the internet to see if um, I can get a good uh, video camera uh, out of this Nikon D7000. The problem with that is I want also it to be a studio uh, video camera. So I was able to find a patch uh, that was able to do it. Let me show you right now how to do that. Okay, so before we get started, just want to give you a word of warning. If you're doing this, if uh, make sure you know what you're doing. Otherwise, you'll brick or damage your uh, camera permanently. Playing with the firmware can uh, definitely cause permanent damage to the camera if you don't know what you're doing. That being said, make sure you um, uh, follow the step-by-step -step method that I'm showing you right now. And uh, if you're not sure, don't do it. All right, so let's get started. So the first step you wanna do is download the original firmware. Now, how do you do that? The original firmware, uh, not the latest, the original firmware that I'm talking about is version 1.03. Now, why would you wanna do 1.03? 1.03 uh, firmware, when you patch it, it has more flexibility. Now, some of you already have a latest firmware, which is 1.05. I'm not sure if you can actually go backwards. So if you have anything above 1.03, I would not recommend doing this because I have 1.0, uh, the original um, uh, firmware, and I upgraded to 1.03 and I had no issue with it whatsoever. However, if you're going from uh, latest uh, firmware, going backwards I'm not sure how that gonna affect your camera so I would say don't do it if uh, some people say that it's okay but I don't recommend it so if you have a version uh, earlier than 1.03 or even if 1.03 that would be better because you don't need to change your firmware but if you have anything earlier than that you can upgrade to 1.03 okay do that first so go to the website here there it is Okay, so there's the uh, website link. I'm gonna provide a link below for you to do that. And then once you do that, let me show you what it looks like, the website, there it is. Okay, so here's the website. Now there's two links. There's the official link, the official server, and then there's a backup server. Okay, if you find that the official server doesn't work, which that's what I found, it didn't work, uh, I went to the second link, which is backup server. So that's what I did. 
So I click on that, and there we go. It tells me to save, and I said okay, and it's gonna save. Okay, so let me look at the file itself. So it's still trying to save. There we go. We'll open that up. Oops, no, actually, we don't want to open that up. We want to be able to see, okay, open the file. And there it is. Okay, now notice something about the file itself. It has a, a quotient mark there, okay? Single quotient mark, that's the file. But the problem with that is um, you need to get rid of that, okay? So when you get rid of it, it will look something like this one here in Windows. So let me delete this part here. Okay, this is what I did this before already, so let me just delete that. So what you want to do is get rid of the quotient. Okay, don't know why uh, the person did that. Maybe it, um, I don't know. I really don't know why they did that. Okay, but here we go. When you do that, just say yes, and there we go. Now it becomes an active application um, file. And now you click on that, and it will open up and give you this bin uh, file. Then notice the uh, the firmware is 1.03. Okay, so this is the original uh, firmware. What you want to do now, you want to. Here's a second step. Let's look at the second step. The second step is using a Google Chrome browser. Okay, you want to patch that original firmware 1.03. And to do that, uh, go to this website. This person, SimonePilgrim.com. I think that's his name. I'm not sure, oh, but anyway, that's the uh, patch that was made there. Uh, I want to thank this person, whoever did it. This is an amazing patch for the Nikon D7000. Okay, let's copy that and go to the website. There we go. Paste and go. There it is. Okay, so notice it. Um, it's a browse, and so do you want to browse for that um, original firmware? So where did I put it now? Okay, I think I put it under Nikon, didn't I? Nikon D7000, if you can find, there it is. And there it is, okay? So open that up. And now you have options, right? This is why I like the uh, version uh, firmware 1.03 because you can do so much with it. If you go down, okay, let's go to D7000. You can do other camera uh, from Nikon as well, but since we're dealing with D7000, there we go, okay? So D7000, 1.03, look at what you can do here, right? 1.04, you can also do it as well, but you cannot, oh no, you cannot do clean HMI for 1.04. Yeah, so it has to be 1.03, okay. But anyway, uh, there's other option, 1.05, 1.04. This is why I recommend 1.03, because 1.03 allow you to do clean HMI output and live view, okay? So let's do that. Okay, so this is why I recommend you get 1.03. There we go. So we load that up. Now we're gonna choose what we want. Now the, the one in yellow mean is beta version. Um, so it's not recommended. Although the yellow mean that you can actually go, if it doesn't work for you, you can go back. But I don't recommend it. Actually, I tried the HMI output uh, 720p full screen. It works uh, okay. The only problem with that, it actually stretch uh, the image, the video. So I, I decided to go back to its original uh, firmware and then patch it again. So this is what I did. I, I, I enabled remove time-based video restriction. Now, when you do that, it doesn't mean that you can record unlimited. It just means that uh, you can record uh, time-based unlimited, but it's also based on the file size, which is four gig. So on a four gig uh, 1080p normal quality is about 24 minutes. So you get an extra uh, four minutes because normally um, Nikon D7000 allow you to record video, but only 20 minutes. So you have an extra four minutes doing that. So I did enable that. Disabled uh, Nikon Star Eater, I did that as well. So if you're doing um, astrophotography, that's probably good. I also, this is what you want, clean HDMI output and LCD live view. So that's what you want. I also do that as well so it doesn't turn off. Live view, no display auto off. And uh, I, I used to choose um, video HQ 24 megabits. I did that, but when I look at the video quality, um, when I upgrade to you know doing uh, that, it's able to encode 64 megabits versus the standard 24 megabits. I didn't see that much of a difference, so this is why I didn't do that. Uh, I did I did try it, but uh, I end up uh, going back 
uh, and redo it again so I didn't choose that so really we only have one two three four choices that we want to uh, patched okay so you save that patch there we go and say okay oops save the file okay now let's go to that file folder where did I put it now there we go so it should say there we go that's the one so what you want to do now is rename that to um, the bin the original firmware there we go that's it and that's it and then what you want to do is copy this into an SD card right and then I'm going to show you the next step is then you put this into your uh, Nikon D7000 um, and then go to the menu and choose firmware and then you have a choice to update because what you want to do is to put this uh, uh, patched firmware at the root directory okay and then what you do is uh, the camera will recognize it and then it'll give you a choice um, uh, to update so you update that and it will update it it takes about you know two three minutes maybe a little bit longer maximum five minutes uh, and then your uh, camera is updated and then you turn your camera off and you start and, and then you'll see it it will work let me show you right now all right so we have the uh, patched firmware we just changed the name to its original firmware uh, name and it's a dot bin file so we're going to insert that into the camera itself there we go turn the camera on and then press menu and you want to go down to the wrench and then uh, under that menu the sub menu and then you have that firmware version click on that and there you can see i noticed that um, when i'm updating um, the file or i mean what notice that when i'm updating the firmware uh i did i think i choose okay so we'll keep it'll take a couple of minutes okay it's done so now you can turn off your camera okay okay so let's turn it on and see what happened there we go ah looks pretty good now the, notice that there is information is missing when you press the information it's not activated so that's one of the feature that's disabled the good news is that you have a clean HDMI output I don't really need that information anyway uh, I have this uh, LCD screen allows me to monitor my ISO and uh, white balance so I can just press the button and move this um, dial this um, wheel uh, dial so it works really well so you have a very clean um, screen there no uh, 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 information on the screen and that's how it's gonna work so the next thing is to hook up to your HDMI cable let me see if I have mine somewhere there we go let me show you right now so this is the mini HDMI cable you just hook it up to the um, the camera itself let's see there we go and let's see if I can switch it on uh, ah, there we go you can see that <laughs> um, let's see oops yeah so there you can see myself oh now this is manual focus ah there we go it works see um uh yeah there we go not bad huh see and you, you can see it's very clean clean hmi output so it works now uh give it a try make sure you know what you're doing like i said you might damage your uh, camera if you don't know what you're doing um i would not recommend it if you have a uh, a firmware that's higher than 1.03 so um if you have 1.0405 i think you shouldn't do it because i'm not sure about going backwards but if you have a 1.0 uh, uh or 1.03 earlier then um, you can uh, update your uh, your firmware if you're 1.03 even better all you have to do is just patch that 1.03 firmware and you're ready to go all right thanks for watching educatetube.com have fun with your new 
modified Nikon D7000. Love it, right? Yeah.